Okay, pasta rasa. That's right. We're gonna release the chickens. Release another video. We're gonna do a little update. Of what's going on outside today? Give me one minute. Camera adds 10 pounds, people. Good morning, ladies. As I pick up that compost bin, those chickens, they knock it down. Look at her go to work. Athena. Aaliyah. Susie Q. Marianne. There's Marianne. And uh, Leah, Kois. So yeah, they get the microorganisms from that, and it's been real damp. So I don't want it to get anaerobic. So as I pull it up every day, they keep on knocking it down. So that's shifting it, keeping it oxygen oxygenated, not waterlogging it. We have a lot of clay soil here. So the water just builds up, and you'll see this as we go on. All right, ladies, enjoy breakfast. Those lilies are starting to come up, as we've seen in the front. Look at that peach tree. Been real damp so I haven't got the cover on the greenhouse I haven't done very much with the greenhouse we got things growing we got hydrangeas right here I thought I killed these plants but tomatoes are very resilient I cut the top off and the bottom grew some peppers are still going man neglect time where does the time go it just moves by so fast so we added some, some rows right here. We added these peppers. I threw down some seed this morning that I saved from the marigolds. Some of that companion planting. If you don't know what it is, Google eyes. You'll figure it out. You be like me, you learn a lot from YouTube. So yeah, we got rows of peppers there. We got some tomatoes. We made some more rows here. We got uh, the tomatoes on the first row. Nothing on this row. We put these peppers to acclimate to the light. And if you know the type of gardener I am, I just throw the seeds in dirt, man. I just, and then I allow things to come back every year. I'm not really an organizer or a planner. It's hard enough as it is to garden, so I just take that little process out. Square foot gardening, I just thin this out. So what I do is I just start cleaning out this little part in here where the carrot's growing. Oh, no more carrot there. He's gone. So I clean out the whole inside of the patch. And that's what we're going to do with this whole thing right here because this one's barrage. This is spinach some mustard greens look at these radishes I mean ready to go baby look at that color oh my goodness oh yeah babe Ooh. yeah we're gonna eat him here real soon more tomatoes kale got some kale growing Don't look like it's doing that well though. But like I said, we'll just thin it out and that'll be our square foot gardening that we make. More radishes over there, more radishes. 
uh, collard greens. I'm building more rows right here. So we do the three sisters and like I said I planted the corn first and then I threw the beans and it's been raining for the last seven days. Like I say this clay soil retains that water. Now I think we have a little too much you know you got to have balance to life. When you overdo something it messes up that ecosystem. Got some carrots growing right there, some more tomatoes. We planted some potatoes over there. We're going to be throwing some more of those seeds that I saved of the marigolds all in this area. So like I was saying about the three sisters, we did the corn first and now we do the beans. And as you can see they're starting to sprout from all that rain. I had a brain injury so I kind of jumped from one story to another story. I already act like I'm 60 years old but as you can see right there that bean is growing. So next we're going to do pumpkins in there. I made the decision, executive decision. We're putting pumpkins in there. Going to have a little pumpkin patch over here growing with, and that will be part of that three sisters if you don't know what three sisters is google -ize it they'll tell you better than I could but that's what I'm working on I'm trying to learn yeah that's what's growing so I just thought I'd give everybody an update the catnip look at these dahlias oh dahlias look at me go again with that uh, dementia If you don't know my story, I fell 50 feet straight down off of a mountain called Lookout Mountain here in Denver, Colorado. And then I slid another uh, 250 feet down the mountain, I believe. Like I say, my memory doesn't work as well as it used to. There's the update on them dudes. They're still kicking it. We're going to move all this stuff over there to the greenhouse. There's that comfrey. Chicken food. Nitrogen fixer for the soil. Nitrogen in your compost tea. Anybody can make these buckets. This is a raised bed. This is where the greenhouse used to be. So with that being said, this is a raised bed. I put a five gallon bucket in there. I drilled some holes on the side. All the way around the whole bucket up and down. So the worms can get in and out of the soil. And then I have my lid. And I throw all my goodies in there. And last time I showed you, I pulled some worms out of there. Look at this guy. Oh, lost him. Ah, here he is. I'm ready to go fishing. Leave in the comments, who's ready to go fishing? That's right. Oh. So those red wigglers from Uncle Jim. He didn't sponsor it, but he's sponsoring this garden because those things spread. And I had lettuce from last year on a stalk that had a bunch of seed. And I just came over here and just splattered it all over. So I got lettuce growing. I'm just going to thin it out, my square foot gardening technique. And this is celery. All those little ones are celery growing. What can I say? That's the garden. That's right. So I want to thank everybody for checking it out. Like, subscribe, and share. You know, help me out. It's the biggest way you can support me. I appreciate everybody. Thank you.